Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers right here in Junction City, Oregon. What a great day in March. Sun's out. And my name is Gary Christians, serving you since 1981. And today I've got something really nice. It's a Road Trek SS Agile. It's on the shirt Mercedes, it's under 20 feet long. Great cruiser and a great camper van. So even though this is short of 20 feet, it's got a nice twin bed or we can fill in the cushions and you've got a queen size bed. Touch of a button, couch comes up, you've got shoulder restraints in the back for two additional people and I believe a lap belt for a third. Um, nice big TV set. It's got a little safety strap to hold it in place. DVD player got a little antenna up in here to help and and uh, your speaker controls here's the, the privacy curtains there's the rest of the owner's kit this is a side screen which I'll point out up front good storage positive locks on all the doors in the kitchen that's your solar panel. It's working whether the unit's turned on or not. And then easier to get to your circuit board and your fuses and your breakers. They're right up in here and it's all labeled inside. You know where everything goes. More storage up on top. There's your owner's packet. Right here is your 400 lithium uh, battery pack. Uh, the road truck puts out. Uh, gives you a lot more juice. It's got a uh, let's go in the kitchen next. Bit, nice full extension drawers. Big cook area. Place for a nice big uh, small and, and a big pan. Full extension, nice use of your drawer. So this is a compressor refrigerator. Don't have to have this thing really level to make it work. And it's so efficient on 12 volts or 110 power. Pantry is right in front of that. Got pl plenty of room to store canned goods in here. Um, little storage down here. Convection microwave. That way you can bake as well as mic. So this is your tabletop that I really love. This little arm swings out and supports it. That way there's no post in there. And it just folds up and goes right back. Another big drawer. Granite countertop. Sink. And it's got mini blinds in here because they need moisture. They don't want it to stain it, so they went with those. All LED lights throughout. Little spice rack over here. And this also has volt start. So if you're operating an air conditioner off your inverter, if the voltage gets down to, it's 11.5 or something, it'll automatically start your engine for 30 minutes, recharge your lithium batteries, shut itself off. It's a nice feature for those people that want to have an animal or something inside and they're concerned about the heat. That's a real nice feature. Uh, looking here by the doorway, we have our command module over here. I pointed out the lithiums. This is your big inverter control switch, battery disconnect switch, and your patio light, and, and so on. It has how many volts here, and your monitor panel up in here for all your tank capacities. Of course, there's no generator because it's got an underhood generator which runs off your engine. It's nice and quiet. Mercedes is a very quiet engine. I mentioned the screen. It goes right in here on these snaps and you just push it open and the magnets separate and it closes. It self-closes. So it's a very nice feature. So we'll turn off the disconnect switch. We'll hit our inverters. That'll shut off the battery so it's not drained. We'll take a peek outside and I'll show you some exterior features. If you notice up on top you've got a nice electric awning. It comes out a few inches or it comes out eight feet. Um, that way if you're parked like we are right here, you can run it out and 
just enough that you can shelter your entryway to make sure either the sun or a little rain is not going to uh, dampen your day. Uh, it's got four wheels and doesn't have duals on the back. So I have to go hit the power button. So it's got a remote switch up here that you can hit to unlock all the doors because they automatically relock. So if you take a peek in here, here's your uh, base uh, speaker, there's your big inverter, and the third seat belt, two, two strengths and a lap belt in the back. Um, this spare, spare tire, if you take this pin out, it folds down here so you can use it actually as a barbecue place. Uh, set your barbecue right on it. It's got a screen in the back that zips in here, so if you wanted to leave your doors open, you won't let any of the little bugs in. And it's a full-size spare as well. 110, or a hot water heater, direct spark ignition, your outdoor shower, your intake and exhaust and your suburban uh, furnace. And then down here, it's just a magnet, Gary. 110 cord plugs in here, and there's your little magnet. Down here, this black knob is to loosen your impeller up. If you're dumping your tank and for some reason it, it's clogged because you're not using the right toilet paper, you can push this and dislodge it. You have a cable hookup, uh, your gray tank, your black tank, this is your macerator hose, it's already hooked up. All you have to do is pull it out, stick a little round donut down in the hole, stick this in and then turn this in line and I'll show you where to power it up. Propane fills here, city water goes in here. All easy to get to and magnets to keep it close. Macerator switch is right here. Push this red button and like in seconds, all the tanks are gonna be dumped out and you're gonna be good to go. Uh, you open up the main door, that opens up the little door. The little door is where you put your diesel fuel. That way nobody can mess with it when your door's closed. And this is the volt start switch here I mentioned earlier on the dash. Nice unit and I'm sure you have a couple questions. Well, you can call the Van Guy Direct. Call me at 541-554-9581 or use the email at the bottom of the screen. Appreciate your interest.